On the Manage Photos page, you'll upload and organize your Candid and your Portrait photos for inclusion in the yearbook. Candids are located on the Photos tab, Portraits are located on the Portraits tab. On the Photos tab, we have a folder set up automatically for each section of the book. And you can see some of these folders already contain photos. To add photos to a folder, click on the Upload Photos button and an uploader will appear. You can drag and drop files from your uh, hard disk directly into this window, or you can click the Add Files button, navigate your hard disk, and find some files to add. I can select all here and click Open, and the files will start uploading. The software will give you progress along the way, overall progress, as well as individual progress. It'll upload multiple photos simultaneously if you have enough bandwidth to do so, and it'll let you know if you have a bad file format or low resolution image. Once the upload is complete, you'll get a message asking you whether you want to upload more files. In this case, we'll go ahead and say no. We're finished with the upload. And now we have our set of photos uploaded into the Around School folder. If you hold your mouse over a photo, you'll get a button to be able to preview that photo, launch into a slideshow, and also add index information so that people in these photos will be included in the index. You'll also get a delete button so you can delete an individual photo. Over on the left, you have functionality for adding your own folders, renaming existing folders. And then at the bottom, you can select photos and you have individual functionality for each one of the selected photos, such as move and copy and edit and delete. Now we'll move over to the Portraits tab. The functionality is very similar for the Portraits tab with the exception of the ability to import portraits directly from a PSPA standard CD. If I click on the Import Portrait CD button, I'll see the Portrait Import Uploader. The first step is to select the index file from my PSPA CD. I can drag and drop the index file into this target, or I can click Browse to find the index file on my hard disk or on my CD. I can open up the index file and the contents will be displayed here in the uploader. The next step is to match up the information in each one of the columns from the index file with the appropriate information. So in this case, the image folder here would be column number two. The image file name is column number three. The grade is column number four. The last name is column number five and the first name is column number six. If there was additional information in the index file, such as homeroom and period or teacher name, you could also enter that here as well. Over here, I have the folder keys. These are the folders that will be used to organize the portraits in the software. For example, I can organize by grade, or if I had homeroom available, I could organize by homeroom or teacher and so forth. If you have more than one option available, such as grade and homeroom, you can select both of these. When you're ready, click Next. And the next step is to upload the images from the portrait CD into the uploader. So again, I'll click the Browse button. I'll find the images. And I'll select the images and click Open. And all the images will be displayed here. Here I can click to look at an individual image. I can also modify name or grade information. I can select all to upload all portraits, or I can select just individual portraits, or if I use the control key, I can select, for example, grade 10 with the control key, that'll select all the grade 10 photos. Once you've decided on which photos you want to upload, click Next. Now we have a review and confirmation step. Over on the right are the folders that already exist on the Portraits tab. On the left, are any folders that will be created as a result of this new upload. I can confirm this by clicking Next, and the upload process will begin. Once all the portraits have been uploaded, the portrait importer will close, and your new portraits will be available in the software. Please note at this point that sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the portraits to load and display. Um, at which time the browser may refresh, or it might be a good idea to refresh your browser in order to see the new folder show up. Once you've got your portraits up on the site, 
you have all the other functionality available as we looked at with Candid Photos. Finally, on the Clip Art tab, you can upload your own custom clip art using the same functionality that we use to upload Candid Photos. Simply add a new folder if you'd like, click Upload Photos, locate the clip art on your hard disk, and upload it into the folder. Any new folders of clip art will be inserted in the software on the editor alongside the standard set of clip art. Clip art files should be pings or PNG files with a transparent layer for the background. When you're finished on the Manage Photos page, click Home to go back to the main dashboard or log out.